One of the cool things that I learned whenever I went and visited your exhibit up there is the uh, manger exhibit that you showed me because that, that's another thing that a lot of our uh, western minds like to think of as oh jesus was born in a manger it's this wooden crate with a bunch of hay inside mm-hmm. of it but you kind of blew my mind when you were explaining to me what a manger back then actually was yep and so one of the things that happened when we read any ancient text and specifically the bible uh, in our culture, we tend to, to do what's natural. We put ourselves in with what we know. Mm-hmm. And so we very much think of the Christmas account, and, and we have this manger. We read the account, and we've got the story taking place in a barn out back with this wooden manger, which is exactly what we would expect in our culture from what we read in the text. Now, in reality, in that time, uh, there was no barn out back. That would have mm-hmm. been as foreign uh, to them is what they did is to us, which is they actually kept those animals in the house at night. Mm. Now, I can't imagine that smell. Yeah, that, uh, ooh, that'd be a little bit rough. <laughs> that would be a little rough. But in a world where your donkey, your ox, uh, that these animals uh, are your livelihood, and if something yeah. happens to them, your family may starve. There is no welfare. There is no safety net. They are too important to put them away somewhere where you cannot keep them safe at night. Mm -hmm. So what we know from the archaeology is these animals were kept basically on the first floor of your home. Uh, If you built most of these homes in in Israel are built in hillsides, so you would make use often of a natural cave, and you would build a wall in front of that. And uh, the term is a fenestrated wall, which is a fancy term to mean a wall with big windows in it. Uh, In that way, you can have the animals on the inside, and from your courtyard outside, you can feed and water and take care of them. Well, what do you set in those big windowsills? Well, this is where the manger goes. And those mangers were heavy stone items Mm -hmm. with, uh, for lack of a better term, a cutout in the middle uh, where you would put the food and the water. And if you read the text carefully... And you realize uh, what a manger is, it makes perfect sense to a baby born in that environment. Uh, you put something soft in it, and it's a perfect crib or cradle. The baby can't roll yeah. out. Uh, and so uh, it makes sense. But it, you know, it, it gives us the idea of understanding a world that was very different than ours 2,000 years ago. Yeah, it it was very different, but also very similar as well. That was one thing that I kind of was catching on to as I was walking around the exhibit because I was seeing all types of these artifacts that we still have today. For example, the uh, the six-sided dice. I thought mm-hmm. that was so cool. I'm like, I, di- I didn't know they were playing Scrabble back then. I had no idea. And uh, the, the jewelry exhibit, how you were talking about the gold earrings mm-hmm. and stuff like that. We oftentimes think about like, oh, 2,000, 3,000 years ago, that was almost cavemen, you know? But no, these yeah. were actually like very progressed civil people. Mm-hmm. So the, the earrings are probably my wife's favorite artifacts in the whole exhibit. They're these gold hoop earrings that could very easily uh, be mistaken for something a lady might buy today. Yeah, they're very, they're, they're beautiful. They're very Great beautiful, mo- modern looking, uh, and yet they're 2,000, 3,000 years old. And, uh, you know, one of the things about human nature, uh, whenever we live in history, uh, you know, especially if we are... Uh, in a society where we have some affluence, mm-hmm. we have some ability, some wealth, or some some way to to be beyond just the ability to live and eat daily, uh, we want to look our best. Yeah, and that's you know, if you ever do a study on the Roman lady, you know, those ladies knew how to look their best, <laughs> and they yeah. had the jewelry and the makeup and the beautiful attire, and so and the hairstyles to go with it.